Hi there, welcome to another video from the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. In this video, I just wanted to uh, yeah, take the opportunity really to say that we're releasing the next President's Report today of the Ordnance Board Proceedings from 1940. So this is your way of reading the summary information of what the War Office, Admiralty and um, the, uh, the, the Air Force were trialling in the in 1940 in terms of weapons and ordnance now this is so much material that even the summary reports for 1940 have had to be split into three reports to make sure that they can be uploaded so what we've got and we've sorted them as a to z based on the summaries of what they cover a file from aircraft armament to ballistics external cartridges to projectiles general and projectiles naval to tubes because uh, I know the focus on the Patreon page is um, small arms, what I'm going to do is just start to share the, uh, that small arms file and we'll be able to see what, uh, you know, what it's covering and, and, and how it, uh, you know, what's included in that 1940 report. And then over the next couple of months, we'll have that indexed properly, available on our main index spreadsheet that we talked about in last week's video, in the 1939 video. Uh, and you can, you'll be able to click those links and see the full detail of the trials, not just this summary. But this video, we're just going to take the opportunity and share the summary. And then next week, we'll cover 1941 and perhaps share a bit more detail again but yeah for now let's look at the summaries so here we are here's the report of the president of the ordnance board year ending december 31st 1940 so let's skip so here we can see you know, the alphabetical index there uh, this is what it's covering we're in the first section we've got a bit on flamethrowers here in page 44 uh, and you know the machine guns there page pages 114 and small arms and ordnance 116 117 so straight after machine guns i think but you can see all the other information that's in there as well plenty in there ammunition primers cartridges and even grenades there too so this is uh, part one let's skip over to projectiles naval and tubes and if you see these uh, this is where you can obviously uh, join and become a patron and you know or just do a quick simple donation of buying us a coffee or um, you know, or, or a quick donation through PayPal there as well. So let's skip. So we were looking for 144. It's quite a way through here even. We can get there. We've got loads of stuff on mortars. Did I say 141? I might have said 121. Um, 111, nearly there, people. Miscellaneous. Oh, it's like a miscellaneous section. Uh, machine guns, 114. So let's zoom in and let's see if we can navigate around. So what were they looking at the Bren gun? Uh, simplifying the design on the Mark II and the approved nomenclature. Trials of the first production guns carried out in Canada. That's interesting. Uh, about feed for the Bren. So that's something that actually has been asked of me before. Oh, excuse me. Um, did they ever try it? And yeah, there we go. Look, so I haven't read these yet, but... Um, Hopefully that will be of interest to people. Bout feed for the Bren gun. So we'll have to look at uh, number 8566, the proceedings, to find that. Breakage of breech block, simplified design uh, called the Mark II. So that's the introduction of the Mark II there. Um, and return springs. So, yeah, some good Bren stuff. For those of you who like it, sign up and you'll be able to get access to these when we uh, add them in the next few weeks. Uh, what about the Vickers? What were we testing with the Vickers? Um malleable cast iron for bipod parts interesting okay uh, so that will be for the armored fighting vehicle guns conversion of the 0 0.30 vickers for ground use the 0 0.30 so 0 0.300 colt browning machine gun being introduced and rings joint mg joint rings joint rings can't think what that is um trials with neoprene packing anyway and then the 50 Browning uh, being endurance trials for the 0.5 inch as well. So if you if you like your M2 Deuce, your Mardeuce, uh, then you know, that's the trials to, to read up on there. Then you've got the Beezer, 20 mil Beezer. Cool. Uh, scaled up version of the 15 mil gun to fire the 20 mil. Excellent. That's a 
big, um, big piece of work. Uh, the Turnbull mount, if you like your pillboxes and that stuff. And uh, a Mitchell Henry uh, design. Not sure off the top of my head. But clearly, yeah, the Turnbull mount is one that I'm well aware of. Um, then we've got flash eliminators for the Vickers. Blast deflector and flash eliminator for the Vickers MG2. So joining two single blast deflectors, mouth to mouth form and expansion and cooling chamber. Design recommended for adoption. And then some of the new designs in there too. So uh, centrifugal gun uh, from Dr. Japolsky. Uh, Swedish LMG. Hydrogen oxygen gun. Interesting. And a blast operated moving barrel gun from Captain Dubovsky. Wow. Okay, um, let's take a look at uh, small arms, super velocity weapons, machine carbines. So we see the Thompson, the Solitern, and the Smith & Wesson machine carbine trials. Beretta being trial, Schmeiser. Uh, so yeah, we're really sort of getting stuck into what machine carbine we're going to use now. And then pistols, but signal pistols. And then small arms ammunition, uh, so plenty of small arms ammunition being trialled. Uh, some of this stuff will be familiar to those that like their cartridges. And lots more tank uh, incidents of caps out with a Vickers K gun, high speed gun there. Um, 7.92, 15mm, 0.5 inch Vickers, one of our favourites. Do support us on Patreon because we're going to get one of those firing at some point. Um, we just need all the help we can get to make that happen. And yeah, so 20 mil Ehrlichan, Hispano. Wow, oh, my house. Look, look at all this, just all this stuff on penetration, perforation, cartridge cases. You know, um, if you don't follow Cartridge Gram on Instagram, then you need to if this is your kind of thing. So go and follow Jack, and you'll find out. You'll see pictures of all this stuff. You know, where it's only words here. Um, hopefully, Jack can look at this and interpret and, and translate those words about ammunition and, and let us know what it all means because uh, he's the guy to do it for us um right let's and then we've got tracer ammunition grenades so loads and loads of stuff again you know or again we've we're able to you know share this uh show you what was happening with the ordinance of 1940 I really hope you uh you know, find this stuff interesting we certainly do um please do you know, even just look through these summaries you will learn something from them uh, no matter what as i said 1941 next week and then we'll keep going with the rest of the war thanks for watching please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel please support us on patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future i look forward to hearing from you